Hey beautiful people, I'm Lucy and you're watching the Edit With Me Monday show, the show where we make editing in Lightroom super, super simple. Today I'm gonna talk about how you can use the clone tool in your photos to do really quick and easy edits right inside of Lightroom. And a big thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Whether you need a domain, a website, or an online store, make it with Squarespace. All right, let's get into it. So once you're in Lightroom, head on over to this develop panel and then in this top group of tools, you will see this kind of circle one with an arrow. That is the clone slash heal tool. So you can either pick clone or you can pick heal. Basically the difference between these two is that clone will directly replicate something exactly and heal is going to take more information from what's surrounding that part of the image and basically make up what it thinks it should look like. So heal is great for something like blemishes on someone's skin. It'll take the data around it and fix it on its own. Whereas with the clone tool, we can kind of get into some really cool and interesting effects. So of course, what you can do is clone or copy something, duplicate it exactly. So go ahead and pick that tool. Now I normally keep the feathering uh, kind of around 30, but it will depend on what exactly it is that you're cloning. Now we're gonna zoom in here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add another guy on this cliff. So pick your clone tool. And what you need to do is you need to first pick the spot where you want the cloned image to be moved to. So I'm gonna go right around here. And you just kind of highlight the area where you want that to fit in. And then what it's gonna do is give you this one where that is actually what is being cloned. So you're gonna pick that up with your mouse and move it over to what you want to duplicate. I'm gonna pick that guy there. So there you go, there we go. We just cloned and made a third guy on that cliff, which is pretty cool. So you can go ahead and duplicate anything in your photo. Now, just like how you can copy something, you can of course go ahead and completely erase it. So in this photo, sorry Scott, we're gonna erase you out of it there. Uh, what you're gonna do this time is you're gonna cover up exactly what you want out of the photo. People always ask me, how to delete people out of the background or delete distracting elements. This is exactly how you would do it. So cover the element that you want copied and then you basically just do that same thing. You pick the spot that you want to move over to it and if you're not too sure if you got it quite right, hit the H key and it will hide these little points that are kind of distracting. So that's okay. Um, actually, I'm going to delete that and make it a bit bigger because just where he is in the water, there we go, H, move that up a little, and that's actually pretty good. Now in this one, he has a shadow and things happening too, his like reflection went into the water, so you would need to go and erase all of that as well, but that was like a pretty easy quick fix to just erase someone out of that photo. Now, this is an easy way to do it, but if you need to do more intense editing, you will need to go into Photoshop. But I like using Lightroom when I can because it's just easy to stay all in one sort of editing software. So completely copying, duplicating an element of your photo or completely erasing an element of your photo are two big ways to use this tool, but you can use it for really, really simple things that will enhance your photo. So I love to just use it to take out distracting elements. So on this photo, there's some lint there, so we can just go in, grab the clone tool, pick it, and it'll pick a new spot and erase it. Done. Great. Now another little bit distracting element that I use the clone tool on is flyaways in your photo. So often, you know, people's hair, it doesn't always cooperate. Mine definitely does not. So we can go in and use the clone tool to fix things like that. So yeah, that looks not good. Now normally with something like this, since it's sort of so close to this area, I usually up the feathering. That's just going to make that edge a bit softer. So there we go. And then just cover over the areas, again, that you would rather weren't there. All right, and it's gonna pick a good spot. And that was really good. Press the H key to hide those pins and see what you got 
So up close, you can still see some, some little things. Again, Photoshop would fix that even better. But for a quick photo, like when you're viewing it at normal resolution, that looks great. Another thing I would use the clone tool on in this photo is this sort of distracting extra thread. Just go grab that clone tool, bring the feathering down this time, and cover that little thread. There we go, it's gone. So there's some great ways that you can start using the clone tool in your photos. Once again, thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. I always recommend them to people who are thinking about starting a website because Squarespace is the best all-in-one platform. Before I switched over to them, I had to know HTML, code, I had to install things, upgrade things, and honestly, it just made me like hate my website. But when I switched over to Squarespace, everything was so easy, it's all in one. You just get to focus on making a beautiful site and telling a great story. So if you want to check out Squarespace, go to squarespace.com. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Lucy for 10% off your first order. All right, guys, I will see you in the next one. Peace.